Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage and we are back today with an interesting weekend reset that's happening today. So I want to walk you guys real quickly through just because I typically do this at the start of the week, but uh, with the events actually um, happening today, I want to talk real quickly about it as well as highlight my video that I just released earlier today, which is actually going through um, ultimately for the free to play event respectively for Zombie Scarlet Witch. And as well, uh, talk about what's going to be coming up in terms of uh, the festivities this week. So, as per usual, if you guys want to stay up to date with Marvel Strike Force content, crush these events completely free to play just like myself, please give the channel a like and sub for future videos just like this. So, um, you guys may have already seen this as well. You head over to the Milestone Store. Obviously, the overwhelming event, the overwhelming hunger from last week is wrapping up pretty soon here in one day. But it is actually going to... Uh, intercept here with a new event that's starting in just a few hours and this is the cosmic awakening and the astral voyage now if you guys missed my video from earlier i'll link it below but astral voyage is actually zombie scarlet which is free to play event um you can even hit preview here and there's going to be you know these new turkeys that are getting featured for the month of november but more importantly scrolling down you will see uh, yes, uh, Zombie Scarlet Witch Shards in addition to the featured monthly item, which in this case is the Astral Armor. Now, I want to point out, guys, most of you, if you've been following along and able to hit the free claims uh, from the Marvel blog post that they've released, there was about 10 shards up for grabs for Zombie Scarlet Witch. So, you really, most of us will likely only need to hit Milestone 15 here for the 30 shards of Zombie Scarlet Witch, giving you the unlock. So, actually, pretty easy. You don't actually go, need to go all the way to Milestone 17, which is great because we've been hoarding campaign energy nonstop um since the day of mines got out over a week ago but remember this event um starts today but there's also going to be winning or losing in battle world that's going to be adding a sizable amount of points as broken down in my video in addition to war battles that's also starting for the week too so make sure you guys are taking advantage of that but anyways i go in more detail in my video so i'll link that below um, more importantly as well the cosmic awakening which is a monthly for uh november this is actually man things uh quote-unquote free-to-play event so most of us likely would have had some shards already from the compensation they released uh earlier the week uh well guess what there's now more shards being available for the monthly so you know um this is going to be ultimately what gets you to the finish line for man thing and then obviously adding him into your final roster here for night stalkers team so uh, make sure you guys are able to hit the monthly events there. The turkeys also add up points. There's going to be a new store that comes in that you can utilize turkeys as well. Um, having said that, Overwhelming Hunger, this is the one that we wrapped up. And like I said in my game plan earlier, um, this was a trap event. We just went for the monthly event because there was no need to really, um, you know, obviously push some of these characters to gear tier. Like, as you can see here, right? Like, this is probably a horrible example, but I actually had no undying characters at gear tier 17, 18, or 19 and I still got the monthly done. Um, and with very, very minimal power cores. I didn't refresh anything, and I still got this done. So this is why I like to conserve resources and, and min-max and save, because um, it you now you know, segues perfectly to why I'm doing that, right? I have 20,000 plus. Well, Moon Dragon, um, Doctor Strange have already gotten their reworks, but this week is going to be the new release of the first member of the Astral Team being ancient one yes i will be back with a full power core video because i'm gonna be unlocking her um on the day that she is released strictly power cores this is what i say for right this is gonna be the newest team for battle world as well as having value in war so that's where i'm putting my money at in this case my power cores uh just because of the fact that we've been hoarding and hoarding and now it's time to take advantage now speaking of changes also um happening i believe it reset today too or maybe it's tomorrow and sorry if i'm mixing up the days here just because of that weird change but gladiator and gore are going to be the next two members of the battle pass joining so um they're going to see this turning over pretty quickly here and again i'm not sure if it's today or tomorrow but if that's the case i know you can always usually uh, save the store free claim so that way you can get a bit of a head start on this otherwise not a big deal the battle pass is always a lot easier to hit than the uh, than the strike pass so make sure you guys take advantage of that um there's also going to be a changing um in terms of the farmability right uh if you guys recall from the blog post head over to the spotlight orbs if you've been hoarding this as well um some illuminati characters are actually going into the spotlight raid orbs which means alpha flight is transitioning out and i do like the fact that they actually pointed out um uh, when the annihilator characters are also going to get transitioned into farmability as well this is happening in december by the way if you didn't check take a look at the blog post so yeah interesting times for sure um they're going in uh, Illuminati is going into the actual raid orbs as well here so it's gonna be an opportunity to farm them um, there's gonna be a new battle world store there's gonna be a turkey store this candy store is still lasting for another uh, 15 days here so I'm still oh 
beautiful. Caught on uh, screen here, actually. I've still been kind of saving and, and utilizing some candies for Captain Britain. We still have about two weeks, but I don't do the refresher, guys. I usually just go ahead and you know take advantage of some of the crimson gear that we have. But what I will do is I recommend using the 600k for candy because that's some pretty good value there. That's what so I, that's why I'm basically doing my account. I don't spend any gold here now on these crimson pieces because you just get way better value from buying the candies and so forth. So. Um, yeah, I think uh, that in a nutshell is basically everything that's turning over. We have some things coming up um, later on this week that I just pointed out, like, you know, Ancient One and as well as um, obviously Battle World starting tomorrow. So we'll be back with more content, guys. But uh, I just wanted to keep this short and sweet. I wanted to give you a heads up because this reset's happening today. So make sure you guys are paying attention to that. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.